Hey boys! What's this? Nobody minding the shop? I kept an eye peeled and an ear cocked from inside. Besides, what can anybody steal? Cups? People steal coffee cups from us poor shopkeepers. So that's why they eat out, to stock up on crockery. Where's Signor Eugenio? H has he gone? You should have been here. His wife came looking for him. Tears, sobs, lamentations. He's unfaithful. He's cruel. She worked him over, first all loving, then jeering at him until she ground him into meal. Where did he go? Need you ask. A man's out all night. His wife hunts him down, and you ask where, he's, where he goes. He slinks back home. That's where. He didn't leave any word for me. He came to the door to say he was counting on you to sell the, that cloth. It's his only hope, he says. I did sell it. Two bolts at 13 lira a yard. I've got the money, but he mustn't know. If I give him all of it at once, he'll spend it before the day's out. He'll want the whole bundle. I won't tell him. I'll parcel it out to, to him bit by bit. Here he comes. Forte duck ducks in a row. Hey, isn't that Latin? What's it mean? Forty ducks in a row. He's a funny fellow. He speaks Latin, but doesn't know you can get forty. You can't get forty ducks in a row. They won't cooperate. Well, Rodolfo, old friend, my clerk tells me you picked up the two bolts of cloth. Did you sell them? I managed to. For how much? Thirteen lira a yard. Good. Ready money? Partly. The rest on time. Uh-oh. How much cash? Forty ducats. No, that's not too bad. Let me have the money. It saves my, it saves my hide. Easy now, Signor Eugenio. I already lent you thirty ducats. I'll repay you when you collect the balance. Forgive me, but that's not exactly honorable. I did this as a favor, and now you want me to wait for my money. I, I have expenses too, you know. You're right. Keep thirty ducats for yourself and give me the other ten. Aren't you going to pay off Don Marzio? He's got the earrings. Uh, he'll wait for his ten ducats. Do you want him gossiping about you, bragging about all he lent you? If I repay him, what will I do for ready money? How much do you actually need? Oh, ten or twelve ducats. Oh, here's ten. And this ten here, well, I'll give to Don Marzio to redeem those earrings. When do I get the balance of the money for the cloth you sold? I'll collect it for you. Don't do worry. Meanwhile, spend only what you really have to. Right. I'm obliged to you, my friend. Don't forget to keep a percentage for yourself as a commission. I'm surprised at you. I run a coffee shop, not a brokerage. If I help a friend, I don't expect a commission. Now there's a worthy man. For someone who runs a coffee shop, he doesn't preach a lot. But at least he's got, a good, he's got good sense. I wish I had some of it. Eugenio, here's the money you lost last night. All of it in this purse. Like to win it back? I'll play you for it. I've given up gambling. I have no luck. Luck can change. Maybe you're not your turn next. It's never my turn. It's always yours. Oh, I'm so... Sleepy. I probably wouldn't hang on to the cards, but I'll play, play you a hand or two. If you're out of cash, I'll trust you. I've got money. I just don't want to play. Match you for a cup of chocolate anyhow. No, I'm not in the mood. Come on, a cup of chocolate. Be a sport. I tell you. One chocolate, that's all. And the first to suggest a serious game forfeits a ducat. All right, just a cup of chocolate. Got him. He's in the bag. All the jewelers agree these earrings are not worth ten ducats. I'll never help anybody out again if they're dying at my feet. Where the devil is Eugenio? These precious earrings aren't worth a thing. Eugenio cheated me, the swindler. He's run away to keep from paying me. Here, Don Marzio, here are ten ducats. Give me the earrings. They're not counterfeit, are they? I guarantee them. If anything's wrong, you can come to me. You're paying out of your own pocket? This is Signor Eugenio's money. Where did he get it? Did he win at cards? I don't know. No. He must have sold some cloth through Pandolfo. Did Pandolfo give you the money? 
You want to be get be paid or not? Give it here. Probably sold his cloth for next to nothing. Do I get the earrings? You're taking them to him. That's right. To Eugenio himself, or to his wife. <sighs> We're one of the other. Uh, what does it matter? Where is he? I've no idea. Then you'll have to take them to his wife, won't you? I'll go with you. Give them here. You can trust me. Come on. We'll go to his wife together. I know the way. I don't need your help. I want to do her this courtesy myself. Come along. Come along. Boys, mind the shop. What cursed luck. I lose all my money for a cup of chocolate, ten ducats, by the, but the way he did it, that's what hurts. Dragging me in here, there, winning all I had, and then refusing me credits. No, when I'm hot I'm, uh, and ready to play till dawn. Let Rodolfo says what he likes. He is to advance me some more money. Boys, where's your boss? He just left. Where did he go? I don't know. Damn Rodolfo, anyway. Where the devil is he when I need him? Count, wait just a minute. I'll be right back. I want to see if I can find that damn Rodolfo. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Have you seen Rodolfo? Me? No. How about my bolts of wool? Have you sold them? Yes, I've made a good deal for you. Fine, how much? It wasn't easy. I showed it to more than ten prospects, and nobody thought it was worth a bid. The spy you finally found, how, how much will he pay? I talked him into a giving me eight lira a yard. What? Got me thirteen. Cash? Partly. The rest on time. On time? I could have got sixteen on time. I'm getting you cash. You'd better grab it. That cl cloth cost me ten lira wholesale. What's a loss of two lira when you're getting ready money? Can't you haggle with him a little? So I break it even at least. Not a hope. He won't budge. I have to settle for that then. Make the deal. Write me an order for the two bolts of wool and I'll bring you your money in half an hour. All right, boys. All right, boys, give me a pen and paper. Write your clerk to give me the ten, two bolts of wool I have pointed out. Whichever you want, it's all the same to me. I'll get a fine new coat out of this. Business, Signor Eugenio, more business. The order's for cash. I need ready money, so I have to sell two bolts of cloth below cost at a sacrifice. I wouldn't call it a sacrifice. You're selling it at the best price, your bid. What, what are they giving you a yard? I'm ashamed to tell you. Eight lira. But cash in hand, ready cash. Why rush into a deal at such a miserable price? I need the money. It's not easy to get cash at short notice. How much do you actually need? Six or seven ducats. Get out. I need real money. Wait, how much will you get for two bolts at eight lira a yard? Let's see. Sixty yards and a bolt. Two bolts. A hundred and twenty yards. A hundred and twenty times. Minus commission. Whose commission? Mine. Mine. I see. A hundred and twenty yards at eight lira. How many ducats does that make? Well, four by for every eleven. Ten times eleven is a hundred and uh, ten plus eleven uh, plus uh, is a hundred and twenty-one. Four times eleven, forty-four. Le uh, 44 ducats minus 1, that's 43 ducats and 14 lira. Call it an even 40 to round off for the commission. Over 3 ducats for commission? Of course, you're getting cash, remember? All right, all right. What a chisel. Now, now, now how much does it come to a 13 lira? Oh, a lot more naturally. That's on time. He won't get cash. Figure it out. I'll do it on paper. 120 yards at 13 lira yard, 3 times 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3, 1 times 0, 1 uh, times 1 adds up to 0, 6, 2, and 3, and 5, 1, 5, 1,560 lira. How many ducats does that make? Just a second. 70 ducats and 20 lira, that's without commission. 
Without commission, how much do you have to wait for the mere money? A bird in the hand. From me, you have already had 30 ducats to begin with, then 10, which makes 40, and 10 for the earrings I got back for you. That makes 50. So far, you've had from me 10 ducats more in cash. Then he's about to give you this wonderful man with his commission. Let me find out and you can go rotten in hell. But I need money now. You need money. Here you are. 20 ducats and 20 lira, the balance from 70 ducats, 20 lira, without paying any commission at all. Cash in hand, no cheating, no gouging, no swindling. In that case, Rodolfo, my friend, I thank you. I'm every one, ever more beholden to you. I'll tell this order up, and I have no further need of you and your commissions. The devil brought him here and sent my new coat up in smoke. All right, I was just doing you a favor. You might at least offer me a drink after all my trouble. Wait. Here's a ducat. Much obliged. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get even another time. There he goes, throwing his money away already. Anything else I can do for you? No hard feelings. Would you like? I'll be along in a minute. He'll gamble the way before dinner. He'd rather play cards than eat. What happened, Rodolfo? Did your buyer pay off the balance early? To tell you the truth, I had the money in my pocket, but I didn't want to give it all to you for your fear you'd squander it. I'm not a child. Well, forget it. Where, where are the earrings? I delivered them to your wife. Don Marzio insisted on going alone. Did you talk to her? What did she say? How did she sound? She does nothing but cry, poor woman. Breaks your heart. If you'd seen how mad she was at me, wanted to go home to her father, wanted her dowry back. How did you get her around her? get her up with a few sweet words and a hug or two it's easy to see she adores you she has a loving nature when she's mad she's wild then don't mistreat her she's a lady and gently brought up she asked me to tell you to be home in time for dinner yes yes i'm going now it's nearly dinner time go comfort her yes right away i'll see you later anything i can do for you just let me know I'm much obliged to you. Anything more you need? Nothing, not a thing. See you later. Your servant, then. You might ask why, why bother about a young man who's no kin to you. Well, can't a man help out a family that's done so much for him? What an ass. What a stupid ass. Who is it, Nan? Who is it now, Don Marzio? Listen, Rodolfo, you want a good laugh? Say asinine, doctor claims uh, that that warm water is better for you than cold. You don't agree? Hot water weakens the stomach. It certainly relaxes the tissues. What tissues? In our stomach. We have muscles, or something like that, to grind up our food, and when they go slack, we get indigestion. No, no, no. Hot water relaxes the ventricle. That prevents the systolic and the diastolic. Ventricle? Yes, the, the cavity. What cavity? The stomach, you fool. Then the systolic and the diast diastolic. Uh, the systolic and the diastolic. What are they? You donkey. The systolic and the diastolic are the two tissues that grind up your digestion. He's all mixed up. Worse than Tripola. Hey, our little friend with the back door. Excuse me, I've got to tend to the coffee. The lazy fool probably wants to close up shop early. Your servant lady. Your very humble servant. How do you? Well enough, thank you. Have you seen Count Leandro? The Count is a friend of mine. Delighted to hear it. What a fine gentleman he is. You're very kind. Listen, is he your husband? I never discuss my private affairs in public. Open your door then and we'll talk inside. You must excuse me. I'm not receiving visitors. Go on. No, really. I'll come to the back. You have fantasies about a back door to too, do you? Don't pretend with me. I know very well you bring people in through the back. I'm a respectable woman. Would you like some dried chestnuts? No. Thank you very much. They're very good, you know. I toast them myself on my estate. You're quite a toaster, I see. Well, you burn me to a crisp. Very witty. If you can turn as quick a trick on your feet, you're quite a... Dancer. That's none of your business. Oh, Pooh. I don't see Eugenia anywhere. Say, notice the pilgrim? Who is she? 
A good time girl. Does the innkeeper take in uh, people like that? She has a protector. Know what I mean? She's kept. Who keeps her? Eugenio. And him a married man. Well, she was here last year too, making the rounds. Your servant then. I'll not be seen with a woman of that sort. Ho, 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 that's rich. Our little dancer retires for fear of ruining her reputation. Lady Pilgrim, my respects. Your devoted servant. Where's Eugenio? You know Signor Eugenio? Oh, we're the best of friends. I've just been to see his wife. You mean Signor Eugenio is married? Of course, but that doesn't keep him from cavorting around. Did you see that lady in that at the window? I saw her, yes. She politely shut her window in my face. She calls herself a dancer. You get my meaning. She's one of those, is she? Yes, and Eugenio is one of her customers. But he's married, and to a beautiful wife, I must say. Well, there's young libertines everywhere. Did he lead you to believe he wasn't married? It's nothing to me whether he is or he isn't. You don't mind, eh? You take him as he is. I make, it makes no difference in my relationship with him. Oh, I know. With you, it's one man today, another tomorrow. What do you mean by that? Explain yourself. Would you like a couple of dry chestnuts? No, thank you. I'll gladly, I'll gladly give you some. You're too generous. Actually, for someone as attractive as you, a few chestnuts aren't much. If you insist, I'll add a couple of lira. Boorish beast. She won't stop to two lira. But last year, she was glad to take a lot less. Rodolfo, you called? Women must be in short supply. They turn up their noses at two lira. Not all women are alike. Women who roam around all over the place don't make me laugh. Many respectable people go on pilgrimages. There's no way of knowing who a pilgrim like that may be. I know her. She's the same one who was here last year. I've never seen her before. You're a dunce. Thanks for the kind word. How would you like me to comb that wig for you? Your servant, my lords and masters. What? You here, Signor Eugenio. Did you win? Indeed I did. Wonder of wonders. What's so strange? Can't I win now and then? Am I half-witted? Signor Eugenio, you swore off gambling. I won't. I won, didn't I? What if you had lost? That couldn't happen. Not today. I know when I'm going to lose. I feel it in my bones. When you feel that way, why do, why do you gamble? Because that's my day to lose. When are you going home to your wife? Oh, get off my back. I won't say another word. I'm wasting my breath. What a man. He beat me. If I hadn't quit, he'd have wiped me out. Aha. Am I good or not? I won in three hands. He bets like a wild man. I bet like a real card player. How much did he win? Plenty. Tell me, what did you really win? Hey, six ducats. The poor old poor fool. Since yesterday he's lost a hundred and thirty and he thinks he's won a fortune when he gets back six. Sometimes you have to bait the hook. What do you intend to do with your six ducats? We could splurge on a big dinner. Let's do. After all my work. Shall we go to the inn? Don't go there. They'll rope you into another game. Let him. Today's my lucky day. He's incurable. We could have dinner upstairs at Pandolfo's in the private room. Right. We'll order the meal at the inn and have, th have them uh, bring it up. Excellent. Poor fool. He doesn't know what he's in for. Hey, Pandolfo. Can I be of service? Would you let us use your private room upstairs for a little dinner? You're always welcome. But I, I have rent to pay. You know, uh, naturally, we'll compensate you for your trouble. Whatever it costs. Very well, go right ahead. I'll get things ready. Now, who's going to order the meal? We'll leave it to you. You know your way around here. Yes, you take charge of our dinner. What should I order? Whatever you like. You know the saying, we need wine, women, and song. He wants women, too. The Count could bring along the little dancer. Yes, among friends, I don't see why not. Is it true you are planning to marry her? This is not the time to place and place discuss that. And I'll go and get the pretty little pilgrim. What pilgrim is that? Oh, she's a lady, don't worry, very respectable. Oh, yes, have I got news for him? Well, are you going to go order dinner? How many are we, the three of us? The two ladies, that's five. Don Marzio, have you a lady? No, I'm with you. Rodolfo, will you have a bite with us? Many thanks, but I have to tend shop. Now, don't make us beg. This is getting out of hand. 
I won some money, didn't I? I wanted to celebrate. But afterwards, then what? Oh, then, good night. I leave the future to fortune tellers. What's the use? I, I should have saved myself the trouble. Come on now, fetch your little dancer. I'll bring her when everything's ready. Well, let's sit down. Have you been to the opera? Oh, yes. Did you like it? Very much. You have deplorable taste. Where are you from? Torino, an ugly city. On the contrary, it's considered one of the finest in Italy. I'm Neapolitan. See Naples and die. Here they say see Venice, then you, then you can talk. Do you have any snuff? Here's some. Help yourself. That's terrible tobacco. I like it. You're no connoisseur. The only real snuff is rape, rape. I like Spanish tobacco. Spanish? It's vile. It's the best tobacco you can buy. You're talking to an expert. Rape, rape. That's the only kind. Rape. Yes, you're up. You're right. Rape is the best. Not always. You have to discriminate. You don't know what you're talking about. What's all the fuss? I yield to nobody when it comes to snuff. How's our meal coming along? It will be ready soon. Is your pilgrim joining us? She won't come. Well, senior snuff lover, go get your lady. I will. If he believes, if he behaves like this at the table, I'll throw my soup at him. That will wilt his mustache. Don't you have the key? No. His key must be to the back door. I'm sorry, the pilgrim decided not to come. So she only, she only wants to be begged. She insists she is clever. She has never been in Venice before. She wouldn't dare say that to my face. Are you sure she's the same one? Absolutely positive. I talked with her a little while ago, and she wanted me to. Well, enough said. Anyway, I didn't. I wouldn't betray an old friend that way. You spoke to her, and she recognized you. Who doesn't? I'm very well known. In that case, why don't you go and persuade her yourself? If I go in person, she'll be overawed. You go and get her. She told me flatly she wouldn't come. Gentlemen, the soup's on. Where's the count? Up, up, on your feet in there. Assume the vertical. The soup's getting cold. Here we are, here we are. Honored lady, my deepest respects. Your slave. Gentlemen, your humble servant. I'm delighted. You honor us with your company. I came to please the count. And not us? Especially not you. The feeling is mutual. I wouldn't stoop to this kind of trash. Why don't you go in? Please sit down and start right away. With your permission, then. Ooh, I never saw anything cheaper. Sour grapes. I wouldn't be so choosy. There he goes, carousing while his wife suffers and sighs. Poor woman. My heart goes out to her. What a lovely day. Beautiful sunshine. Not at all cold. Ah, uh, it's like spring. We can enjoy watching the passers-by and the maskers in the carnival. Sit down. Everybody, sit down. What's all the commotion? That foolish Signor Eugenio, he's dining with Don Marzio and the Count and his dancer upstairs. Good appetite, everyone. Tropola, here's to you. Need a little help? Want to come up and serve the wine? I will if you'll give me a bite to eat. Come on up, we'll feed you. If it's all right with you. Where are you going? To serve wine for my patrons. They don't need you, we're here for that. You are, you a waiter, are you? Yes. Well. You just wait, Tropola. Come on up. I'm coming. See? Keep an eye on the platters. Don't let any of the outsiders snatch our leftovers. How can people come into the world with so little sense? Signor Eugenio is determined to jump off the nearest cliff. Well, I did my best to save him, and I'll never be sorry for that. Don Marzio. A toast to his lady. Her health. Your health. Your health. Can I help you, Lady Masca? Can I be of service? To the health of all good friends. And to you, masked lady, would you like to join us? You're welcome. We're all gentlemen here. Who's this masquerader you're inviting? Will you pay for all this, the, the blockhead? If you don't want to come up, lady, it's all right with us. You, We have choicer ladies than you here. Oh, God, I'm going to faint. That's the last straw. Lady, are you feeling ill? Rodolfo, in God's name, help me. You here? You need a little cordial? Come inside. I'll go up there and kill myself before his very eyes. I'll show the dirty dog. Now come in and calm down to the beautiful young woman with the splendid eyes. You hear the wretch. You hear him. Let me at him. Let you kill yourself. Never. Not if I can help it. I can't bear this anymore. Help me. I'm dying. This puts me in a pretty pickle. 
Heavens, I thought I heard my husband's voice. If that's him up there, I'm just in time to expose him as a wife deserter. Young man, tell me, who is in this in the room up there? Signor Eugenio, Don Martio, the Neapolitan, and the Count Leandro Ardenti. You sure it's not Flamenio? Perhaps he changed his name. Here's to Eugenio and his winning streak. Here's to Eugenio, the winner. I know that voice. It's my husband. Please, please take me up there. I have a little surprise for him. At your service. Be brave now. Everything will be all right. I think I'll die. No, stop. Don't do that. Help. Help. Rumores fuge. That's Latin. Rumors fudge. It means state of stampedes. Get out of the way. I'm after her. Your own wife? I'll save her from you if she takes the last drop of my blood. By God, you'll be sorry. I'm not afraid of you. You dirty coward, come on out and fight like a man. If you want blood, spill mine. Get out of here, you brainless woman. You'll never get rid of me alive, so kill me. Get out, damn it, or I will. Just because you've got a sword, you think you can scare everybody. You mistreat this poor lady, and now you threaten her. She may be defenseless, but I'll protect her. Come on, come with me. Don't be afraid. No, Rodolfo, let him kill me. Let the beast satisfy his lust for blood. Go on, kill me, your dog. Butcher me. You miserable wretch, you are a disgrace to humankind. Ah, uh, Signor Eugencio, I apologize. I spoke out of turn, but this poor lady breaks my heart. Don't her, don't her tears touch you? Look, Signora. The, Vittoria, he's crying. He'll change his ways. Crocodile tears. How many times he's promised a change? How many times he's fooled me? I don't believe him anymore. Why doesn't he say something? Why doesn't he answer me? He's ashamed. He wouldn't like, he would like to apologize, but he doesn't know how. Oh, Rodolfo, let's go comfort him. You'll have to do that on your own. You go to him first and see how he is. I expect he'll be very sorry. This is the last time he sees me weep. Either he apologizes or I leave him cold. He's gone. He left by the back door. Look, he went without his cap. He doesn't know what he's doing. Be sorry, why doesn't he say so? Maybe he's afraid to. Now he knows how easy it is to wheedle forgiveness out of a foolish wife like me. He's ashamed. Rodolfo, now you're wheedling me. Go into my back room while I look for him. I'll send him running back to you like a little puppy dog. Better to forget about him. Do it my way just this once. All right, I'll wait for half an hour so I can say I did everything I could to get my husband back. But he'd better not take away, take my advantage of my generosity. If he were my own son, I couldn't go to more trouble for him. The worthless count. He led me on to believe he would marry me when he already had a wife. We women are too gullible. I fell for being a countess. I should have stuck to dancing.